hey my awesome planner babes guess what i am officially back i promise <laughs> We'll talk about that in just a second. Let me explain to you really quickly what we're going to be doing. So I have the new colorful leopard stickers, which are absolutely gorgeous. And I also pulled out the wild styled stickers because I thought maybe I'd use them, but I didn't end up using them. Today we are going to be planning inside of my catch-all planner. Um, in my, this is my horizontal planner. And I haven't planned in this for a couple of weeks. It's It's been a hot minute, which is okay. Um, I don't know if you noticed there, it was going a little bit fast, but not last week because last week I didn't make a spread. The week before I used sticky notes. That was my spread for the week with sticky notes. Okay, so let's chat. Why, like, Ashley, where the heck have you been? Um, because when the spring release come out from the Happy Planner and I had come back, initially my plan was to make videos and stuff and, and come back and um, be back on Instagram and all those things. Because I'm sure you guys have noticed I have been MIA for like a month. So that was my plan. And then that didn't end up completely working out the way I wanted it to because I was focused on taking my nursing exam and you guys... I passed it. Woohoo! I would scream so much louder right now, but I don't want to blow your ears. <laughs> I'm afraid you might have headphones in while you're doing the dishes or something, or you're sitting there eating and you're going to yell at me because I don't want to scream. But um, anyways, I passed it. I flipping passed it. Now, here's why I'm so pumped about this. I would be pumped regardless, but here's one of the reasons why I'm extremely pumped. Also, really quickly, what I was doing right there was pre-planning. And here, I'm showing you, I started to pre-plan, but I actually had to walk into the kitchen. Because in our kitchen is where we have a um, dry erase board. And this is like our family calendar. And so if my husband's off work, if we have things for my son, appointments and stuff, they always get wrote down here first so everyone can see them and we can all be on the same page and we know what's going on for the week. And now here we are going back. And I'm going to show you a little overview of my office. I have not cleaned my office in a while so there's my little setup um, I have a new water jug and I cannot wait to share it with you guys here's the mess that I have um, and here's everything from the spring release is still in my closet or my um, yeah my closet desk everything is still setting up there I haven't had a chance to put it all away yet so I will be working on that actually I'm gonna film it I'm gonna do a clean with me which I've never done before so I'm kind of excited for that so okay back to pre-planning I went into the kitchen to check the dry erase board to see um, what we had going on. That way I could get make sure I was on track with everything for the week. But what I was saying is, the reason why I am so stoked about passing this exam, and I haven't told very many people this, but I actually failed the exam. Not once, but twice. Yes, two times. Um, and if you're thinking, man, she's a dummy. I, I know, I'm with you. I felt like the biggest dummy in the world. It's one thing to fail it once, but the second time, holy cow. Um, I mean, it's okay. It happens. It's not a big deal. That exam's not an easy exam anyways. But there's this, if you don't know, there's this like whole stigma around passing your NCLEX the first time. There's like this big thing. That's like every nursing student's goal is to pass the NCLEX on the first try and not have to take it again, which I totally understand. But because that's such a big thing that we all strive for that whenever it doesn't happen, oh my gosh. That's like failure city. You just feel like the biggest failure ever. So anyways, I didn't share that with you guys. I didn't have, um, emotionally I couldn't share it. It was just so hard. It was so hard for me to handle, let alone to share it with thousands of people. Um, actually, I have friends that didn't even know I failed it twice. I have family members that didn't even know I failed it twice because I just didn't want to share it with everybody. But I'm okay with sharing it now because I finally, finally got through that darn thing. Um, so anyways, that's why I have been MIA. And if you ask me, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good reason to drop off the, the face of the earth. Um, but I did, and I mentioned this on stories. I haven't, I just posted it on stories, so I haven't had time to check the poll yet. And it's probably not even, um, people probably haven't voted on it just yet. But if you are a nursing student and you follow me, please, please, please let me know in the comment section if you want to see how I completely changed the way that I studied to finally pass this exam on the third time. If it can help me get through the NCLEX after failing it twice, I know 110% it can help you not only in your exams in nursing school, but also whenever you take the NCLEX. Right now, it is what, March the 15th? Um, and I know many of you guys are going to be graduating here very soon and you're going to be taking the NCLEX for the first time. And I would love to be able to help you with that because I do not want to see people have to fail it like I did because of like trying to study the same way. It's just, it's really different. Anyways, if you want to see that video, comment, 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 let me know, let me know, let me know. I will be more than happy to make it because um, I completely changed the way that I was studying. 
I wish, honestly, I would have known about the study method when I was in nursing school because I think that would have made a huge difference. It also would have been a massive time saver. Um, because I'll be honest, with this last time I took the NCLEX, I mean, I've studied, I'm going to say for, it's been like a month that I've been focusing on this, but I've only been studying for like two hours a day. It hasn't been anything crazy. But I also took that time off social. I wasn't making videos and stressing about all these other things. Like I was just letting myself chill, relax, focus on exercising, on taking care of Ashley, and then spending that time um, studying. And then I also, my son still, if you guys didn't know, he still does the virtual learning. So I am also a teacher Monday through Friday, um, which is okay. I don't care. It's not a big deal. So anyways, I was still focusing, um, still doing that and stuff and focusing on the exam. So that's why I've been MIA. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally be done with this exam. Oh, it's like the weight of the world has just been lifted off my shoulders. And I could not wait to share this with you guys. And I knew that in this video, while I haven't sat here and really talked about the planner spread that much, I knew I wanted to share with you guys um, this exam and how, how it kicked my butt a few times. But I kept going and I didn't give up, even though I really wanted to. Like, really, really wanted to give up. I just didn't. And I'm really proud of myself for that. I don't like to boast. I don't like to um, talk about my accomplishments. But daggone it, this one is one of them that I'm making the exception for. I am proud of me. And I want you to, if you're someone who's like me and you don't um, brag about yourself very often, I want you to give it a try. Not in a, in a, like, arrogant way, obviously. Duh. But you have accomplished a lot. I have accomplished a lot. We have all accomplished a lot of things. We have overcome many 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 hard things and I want you to be proud of yourself for that regardless of where you're at in life what's going on um, how stressed out you are if you feel like you're struggling if you feel like you you know you're juggling too many hats it doesn't matter I still want you to be proud of yourself um, because I've been in that mindset of beating yourself up every day being stressed out being aggravated emotionally just taxed like completely drained I've been there and um, it sucks so be proud of you I'm proud of me and I want you to be proud of you Okay, anyways, I will quit ranting about being proud of ourselves, and let's talk about the planner spread. So I ended up using the planning guides that the Happy Planner has um, to help me create this spread. I feel like I haven't planned in so long that I was, it's kind of like I was like starting over. So I was like, I'm going to use the planning guides just to be safe before I start sticking things down. I'm really glad that I did. If you guys do not have the planning guides, I will link them down below. Seriously, get them. They're extremely helpful, especially when you're not for sure on how you want your planner spread to go. Um, the planning guides are really, really helpful because you can move your stickers around a lot easier than trying to peel them off of the paper. They do come off the paper, um, but some, I mean, the planning guide is just so much easier. Also, if you get the planning guides, here's a quick tip. You, um, you have to feel them. It's really hard to explain, but when you get them, feel them. One side is going to be slick. The other side has like, the slightest of texture. It's not like a texture, te I don't know how to explain it, but it's like one side's really slick and one side's kind of rougher, I guess, compared to the slick side. You wanna put your stickers on the rougher side. If you put them on the slick side, they are really hard to get off. Um, actually, one of my planning guides has a big spot left on it from a sticker because I actually put it on the wrong side. So just a just little tip for you in case you get those. Okay, so the coffee cups, for every day are absolutely gorgeous. The leopard stickers are absolutely gorgeous, but the coffee cups, I was using those on Monday through Friday to note my son's homework. And then on Monday, I put one of those box stickers on the left side. Actually, hold up, let me back up here for, for a second. When I plan in a horizontal, I think, I think of it in sections, as if I have three separate sections. The first section, so under the days of the week, that is where I write like top priorities, if we have appointments, things that are scheduled in that can't be changed. I mean, things can be changed, but you know what I mean. That's what will go there. And then the center section or the section on the right, I will alternate. Um, sometimes I decorate, I make checklists. Sometimes I just write in gratitude. I put stickers, like I just alternate those back and forth. Um, so on Monday, I also put a little box sticker under the coffee sticker. You can't see it right now. But anyways, that was for Cub Scouts because I knew we had Cub Scouts Monday. Tuesday, I used a circle meeting sticker. I have a team call on Tuesday. And then I, um, here over here on this weekend, on Friday, did I put one down? No, that's Saturday. 
on Saturday, I ended up putting another box sticker. I don't know what's going to go in there. I don't have an appointment or anything uh, particular for that. But I was just trying to bring some balance to the page and not have like a bunch of boxes on the left side and then not have them on the right. That's another tip for you guys. If you guys like kind of what you do on one page, you kind of need to do something similar on the other page. It helps bring balance between the two pages. So that's another tip for you guys. Down here at this bottom section, I was going to write my gratitude for the week, which I'm pretty sure I'm just going to write in big letters past the NCLEX. Or I might put Ashley Anderson, comma, RN. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just down there because that is the thing that I am incredibly grateful for right now. Um, so anyways, I'm going to use that as a gratitude list. Sunday, I put a box down that has um, like top three. So three things I want to focus on on Sunday. Uh, what else? I did some decorative box stickers layered with regular box stickers for checklists. The um, leopard stickers are gorgeous. I love those. I just love this whole spread. I love the way that it turned out. And honestly, I was so glad. So when the Happy Planner did their spring release, I ended up ordering some stuff online. Obviously, I had to have those stickers, right? Um, so I made a purchase, and I got this stuff the other day. Actually, I got it the day before I took my exam. So I took my exam on Friday. What date was that? Um, Friday the 12th. And I had received my, uh, my box from the Happy Planner on... Thursday the 11th and I didn't I didn't have time to like really plan in anything um, use the stickers or anything like that so I knew this week I was definitely definitely using those colorful leopard stickers and I love them let me know if you love them too I think they are super super cute we are about to come to the end of this video and um, I was gonna do a word of the video but I don't know I don't have a word <laughs> I don't have a word I'm just like I'm just, I'm just a happy camper right now. That's what it needs to be, happy camper. I am a happy camper. You guys, seriously, I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally be done with this exam. Now, I will be getting my BS in, but I don't, I'm, um, you don't have to test for that. So I don't have to stress about this thing again. Thank heavens. But listen, thank you guys so, so much for being here for me, for supporting me, for checking on me while I've been gone. I am so thankful for that. Thank you for hanging out and waiting for me to come back and being patient. Seriously, I'm incredibly thankful for that. It does mean a lot to me. And I know um, I know that whenever your favorite content creators kind of disappear, it's like, well, wait a minute, what happened? Um, but I'm here all is well. I was just focused on that exam. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for continuing to support me. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for commenting and subscribing and liking. I love you. I am so grateful for you. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.